Hi there, San Diego magician Tom Interval here. Hey, listen, I want to show you uh, one of the world's oldest magic tricks. This is a pretty cool trick. It's called the cups and the balls. No, obviously, I did not invent the name because I'm not nearly 500 years old. <laughs> but um, as you can see, it uses three cups and three balls. And what's really cool about this trick, what you're about to see is an intermediate routine that I show my uh, intermediate magic students. It's relatively easy, but it's really cool. And remember, for every routine for the cups and balls, there are just as many as there are magicians. Uh, so it always, not always, I shouldn't say that, but it usually uses three cups and three balls. Sometimes it uses two cups. Sometimes it even uses one cup. Now, of course, what cups and balls routine would be complete without the obligatory magic wand? Yes, something to tap with and three things to tap on. So guys, what I'm gonna do is ask you to pay attention to the three balls and the three cups. The three balls have the ability to teleport. Now the cups are different, um, but the both, and I'll talk about the cups in a second, both are solid, okay? And you'll see why that's important. Do me a favor and blow on this with your magical breath. I'll help you. So your magical breath will allow that ball to go through solid copper and remember, what I didn't tell you is that even though these cups sound solid, each of them has a soft spot on the tops. This allows one solid object to go through another solid object, all right? And that includes this cup can go through this cup. Watch. Pretty cool, right? Now, the same concept is true with the ball. It also can go through the top of the copper cup. So keep your eyes on that center cup. Watch. One spin, one tap. That's all that's necessary to make the ball go through solid copper. How cool is that? Cup number one, cup number two, cup number three. Keep your eyes on the second ball. I'm going to do the same thing, okay? Watch. One tap, one spin, one spin, one tap. Doesn't matter what order. Either way, the ball goes through. Let's try it again, except, you know what, let's do something a little different. I need your magical breath again, if you don't mind. Um, I'm going to have you in a second blow on this ball. I'm going to leave it inside my fist just for a few seconds. And as I do this, blow on the fist, and look, it disappears. Now, of course, you know things can't really disappear, but listen. Can you hear it? Look, how many do you see under the cup? Three, exactly. So this is the ancient illusion of the cups and balls. Pretty cool, right? And it's um, <clears throat> it's pretty easy to do for intermediate magic students. And at this point, my students say, well, how the heck did you do that? And I, I'm honest with them. I say, well, it uses an extra ball, cleverly disguised as a lemon. Hi there, welcome to the explanation for this easy cups and balls routine. Uh, this is for my Patreon patrons and Rockfin subscribers, uh, sort of like a little bonus video. It's really casual. I'm actually filming this on Zoom. Uh, I, want, I want to make a more formal tutorial later on. But anyway, just so I can give you the explanation for this easy cups and balls routine, in case you're a beginning magician and you want to do it yourself, or you want to teach this to, uh, to maybe one of your magic students.